Green Arrow's arc was actually one of the bright spots of DC vs. Vampires. Being that he's the ultimate survivalist, if he got killed during the initial outbreak, it would be pretty outrageous. So of course, when the fall of humanity happens, he is one of the initial people that survive. And during the flash forward, we see that he manages to infiltrate a blood camp in Smallville. And it turns out that this is the largest blood camp in the nation, and liberating this one also means you gotta go up against a vampirized version of Hawkman. And look, I know that they left open DC vs. Vampires, Empires to have a sequel, but some really bad writing happened in the Green Arrow portion of this story. Don't get me wrong, there were great moments in the story, like when Grifter and Green Arrow pee on an arrow that turns out to not even be an arrow, but it turns out to be Swamp Thing instead. But the truth of the matter is, once the shock factor of Batman being killed off wore off, the series kind of falls flat. Green Arrow has an awesome fight with Hawkman, but the problem is, after the fact, he just disappears. He liberates the Blood Farm with the help of some average people, and then there's really no resolution after that. 